Okay, good morning. Um, this is just a quick video uh, on how to make uh, a kitchen pot scrubber. Um, I've seen several videos and um, the some of them are too thin. Um, the other ones you have to make two and then sew them together. So I decided to make just a real quick uh, how I make these little scrubbies. I use Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. Um, and these are, you can make them any size you want. Um, I call them yo-yo scrubbies. So I'm not a very good photographer. So we're going to try to do this. I don't know if I can or not. Um, the main thing I'm going to do is just explain how it's done. So you want to make your loop. <clears throat> you want to crochet one and then two and then yarn over and you're going to do as many double crochets as you can in the first stitch that could be eight it could be 12 it could be 13 and i just did a single crochet yarn over and do double crochets so go all the way around uh putting all the double crochets into that first uh, chain stitch that you made. I only chained up two stitches. Don't worry about this yarn. <clears throat> Don't worry if it's um, if you're getting it in the actual stitch or not. Um, it's really not going to matter. Um, it's the denseness at the end of the day of the fabric that's going to matter. So um, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go all the way around. And when I get around, I'll come back. Okay, I hope that paused. <laughs> so when you, you get all the way around, you see, you come to the end of it here. So what you think is the first stitch, doesn't matter. Like I said, just do a slip stitch. And then you've got a little circle. It's just your regular uh, circle. You can use magic loop if you want to. Uh, for this, I would use the, the two chain stitch. That way, during all your scrubbing, it won't come out. Um, and you can crochet the tail in it if you want to. We'll take care of that at the end of it if you don't. Um, chain up three. You can chain four, but I just chained three. Now, we're going to yarn over twice. And go into what looks like a stitch. Like I said, it could be the chain space in between. It could be it just a hole in the fabric. <laughs> you want to try to put two uh, treble crochets which you're yarning over twice I don't know in what country you're in they're called different things um, you want to put two stitches in every single so if you put 12 double crochets in that in this small ring when you get through with this ring you want to have 24 treble crochets okay so yarn over twice do two if you do three or if you do one it's like i said this is one of the most forgiving of patterns you're going to have um <clears throat> so i'm gonna go all the way around and when we get to the end i will come back okay i'm back um i'm at the end of my treble round i have put two trebles in every single one of the original um, um, double crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch, and this is where you got to decide how big you want your scrubbies. So this is row two. This is a scrubby. I have this is the original, it's hard to see um, the original double. And then I have uh, the trebles. And then this row right here, that is the folded over edge, is another treble. And then I did one more uh, round of uh, uh, double crochet. And you're going to be decreasing on the back side. <clears throat> so I guess it's easier to just show you. Okay, so back to it. Here we go again. One, two, three. Now on this round, 
you're going to put two and I don't count that chaining stitch I just I don't I don't know why it could but it I don't so <clears throat> like I said this is so forgiving now you're going to do two in one stitch it's hard to see there's the next stitch so um well, that's kind of like a double and a half. I forgot to yarn over twice. You're going to put one in the next stitch. So you're going to do two stitches, two trebles in one stitch, one treble in the next stitch, and then go back and do two trebles in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Well, that's horrible when you lose your, your yarn in this. It's so hard to see. Um... So there was one, so I gotta do two in this one. Okay. I know this is probably maddening to look at this crazy yarn. Um, this is the Red Heart Scrubby. It kind of has a, a plastic feel. These are awesome pot scrubbers. I made these for people at work and they absolutely love them. Uh, I have one when I made them at Christmas that I kept. I have made them single ply, which is just this front face. And those were okay, but they were too thin. And um, I don't, you know, I, I guess I could uh, make two of these and then crochet them together. I didn't like how that turned out either. Um, it took too much time. And uh, one would be bigger than the other one and blah, blah, blah. This is just so much easier. Um, oh, I didn't double over. If you forget to yarn over twice, like I do constantly, uh, pull off two, and then instead of pulling the next two off, just pull one at a time off with a yarn over, and you'll still get a, a treble. Like I said, you might not be able to get away with that in some yarns, but you will be able to do that with this stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm using, I don't know what size needle I'm using, probably uh, 4.5 hook uh the size of it has worn off um this yarn recommends a 5.5 any size hook you got will work as long as you can grab this yarn with it and pull it through um too big a yarn or i mean too big a hook will make them too big and too loose you you want them tight enough to scrub but loose enough to let food particles and stuff wash out. I, f I hope that makes sense. Um, and these doubles, starting with doubles and going to trebles and then reduce them back down to doubles on the back side of it uh, seems to uh, work kind of great for that. They're not too tight and they're not too loose. So hold on. Let me get all the way around and I'll come back. Okay, so we're all the way around, and once again, you have your little gap there. Just do your slip stitch. Now, I'm not going to do another one. I would probably do another, oh, I don't know. Yeah, another round on this. Um, I would do another one, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you how to decrease now. So, chain one. Um, go to your next stitch. Pull through your yarn, uh, go to the next stitch, pull through your yarn, and pull all the way through. You just did single crochet decrease, okay? So, go to the next stitch, pull through your yarn, go to the next stitch, pull through your yarn, yarn over, and pull all the way through. Um, you can put a stitch marker here because you're going to lose this when you come all the way around, and I don't have one in here with me, so we're just going to wing it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, pull through, pull through the next stitch and decrease this yarn, I swear. Okay. Pull through, pull your yarn through, decrease, pull through, pull through, decrease. I'm not doing stitch counts cause they're all going to be different. Um, pull through. Pull through. Um, you'll notice as you do this that it starts cupping. 
And this is what I mean by cupping. See, it starts cupping. That's what you want. Um, you want it to, to uh, cup inwards because that's going to be your backside. Okay, I don't know where I'm at. I looked away. <laughs> okay, hold on, and I'll come back when I get all the way around. Okay, so I've went all the way around. And now, you can kind of see it looks like a little bird's nest. Okay, if uh, this is the size that you want, um, you know, you want to make it to fit comfortably fit your hand. Um, big enough to clean something, but not too big. Um, now you can do the back side. You can do <clears throat> a row of half double crochets. You can do a row of double crochets. You can do another row of uh, single decreases. Or you can stop where, where we are. It is so forgiving. So we're going to stop just so I can show you how to close it up. <clears throat> okay. So, you've got it as big as you want it. Let me pull this yarn through. All right. And then get um, tapestry needle. If you don't have a tapestry needle, this can be done with a crochet needle, but it's just a pain in the butt. So, uh, pull through. Now, on the first row... You want to go in and out of your stitches. Just weave back and forth all and kind of pull them because this yarn gets tangled easy. Go back and forth, weave in and out. If you miss one, it's no big deal. If you go into two, it's no big deal. Like I said, very forgiving pattern. In and out, in and out. And go all the way around and where does I start? <laughs> in and out. Well, you just keep going in and out till you know you've been all the way around. And I'll do a little more because I like them secure. Even though this is going to be a tiny one. And yeah, okay. So now you've got you've gone all the way around, in and out every other stitch. Just pull it. And you made a little sea urchin. <laughs> Okay, now, what you can do now, flatten it back out a little bit. Take that tapestry needle and stab it right through the center. Come all the way up and start weaving in the end. And I suggest you go back and forth from side to side over and over. Oh, gosh, see, see what I mean? This stuff is brutal. <clears throat> now, pull it through. And then, once you've done that four or five times, six times, 20 times, depends on how obsessive you are. Cut it. And look there. Pull it. Tug on it. Make sure it's not going to come apart. And you have a yo-yo scrubby. How many questions? Uh... You know, it shouldn't be that many. This is pretty simple. But if you have any questions, just let me know. Have a great day. Bye.